All right, so I just had a thought. In 1986, when I was four, my dad had a 1976 Dodge Aspen. Uh, it was a four-speed car. I don't know what engine came in the car. By any means, I have no idea what came in it. It ended up having a 340 and a four-speed with a tunnel ram with two four-barrel carburetors. Flash forward to the year of his death, it is 2017. My truck is a 2003, which makes it 18 model years old, excuse me, 15 model years old at this point. So this truck is technically older uh, in the time than my dad's car was in the era that he built it. And I, I look at this truck and I see its defects and I see its flaws and all that kind of stuff. And don't get me wrong, I love my dad to death. And he built epic shit, don't get me wrong. I just can't imagine taking this truck that's theoretically, I mean, it's missing a kick panel. The dashboard's all busted to shit. I mean, it's, it's a landscaping rig. Okay, don't get me wrong. But I think about it, whether it car or truck, something that is five years older than something that my dad found in the day that he ripped apart and turned into a, a drag car and maybe it's a sign of the times and things are more reliable now and I, I don't know exactly how that works but I just can't imagine ripping a, I mean I I'm a gearhead because of my father and I love cars okay don't get me wrong I absolutely love cars but i see this truck as a tool and i mean the wife's subaru is a 2001 uh which makes it even older that's 17 model years older when you think about what's coming out now and it still runs and i'm not trying to stick a, a turbo motor in it and make it go fast because it gets us down the road but i guess maybe that's a difference in the generations but i mean this turd has a 3.7 liter V6, but if you look at how far back that engine is set, this, that's the firewall. This thing's like working on a van. As far back as that engine and transmission are set, this thing is like working on a van. Like, I'd have to tear that whole shit out. Uh, and the brake booster, nonetheless, just to do the spark plugs. Which, if you ask me, is fucking retarded. I mean, it's a good running truck, leaks a little bit of oil, it's got about 160,000 miles on it, but I paid $1,000 for it. I paid $1,000 for this truck. I mean, the uh, hood struts are shot, which is why the hood just falls down. It's got good tires, I painted the wheels black because that's just what I do. You look at the dumpster wagon, the wheels are black, but they're really dirty and need to be washed. And I mean, that... Again, I, if my dad didn't do the stuff that he did in the day and build the cars that he built, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have the, the love for the cars or the, the, the uh, Mopar gene that he instilled in me. There's a nasty dent. Um, I just, we came home from the gas station. I just gave the girl at the uh, gas station a pair of shoes that we took out of the trash can. Um, and I was looking at my truck and I was just thinking about it in time and thinking like how ironic it is that you flash forward, you know, 30 years and I've got an old Dodge and my dad had an old Dodge. Anybody who actually knows Mopars will know that married with children, uh, Al Bundy didn't actually have a Dodge. Uh, he had a 74 Plymouth Duster, but they referred to it as a Dodge. Anyway, and just I've got my old Dodge, and I like my old Dodge. And I thank my dad for the fact that I like my old Dodge. You know, six-cylinder with a five-speed. But I love my old Dodge because of my dad. Miss you, Dad.